Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up, killers? I can't believe it. I'm late. I'm super late, yo. I'm super late, son. I'm super late, but I didn't. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I apologize. I'm here. It's Thursday, May 21st, 2020. 2020, 2020. How y'all doing? I hope you're doing well. My name's Tim. I'll be your host, obviously. I'm the host with the most, yo. Uh, what do we got going on here? Let me let me move my let me move my angles a little bit here. What's what's happening here? Are we good? Are we doing well? Oops, sorry. My curtain's a little my curtain's a little shabby. My curtain's a little shibbity shabbity. Shibbity shabbity shabba. So uh, let's let's go ahead and let's just start this thing off. My name's Tim. I'm your host. I do the live stream Monday through Friday and on Sunday as well. The live stream's at 7 p.m. I was a little late today. Lo siento mucho por tarde. Lo siento. Um, and I do it at 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. And then I, I and on Friday nights I get a little crazy and I do a later one on Friday nights. And on Sunday, we do 7 o'clock. I like to do 7 o'clock, the 7 o'clock rock, the seventh inning stretch, whatever you want to call it. Look at me. I'm so Rasta. I'm so Rasta. I don't know if you know about it, but I'm a Rastafarian. Yeah. So we're, we're living, man. We're living well. I hope you're living well. I hope you're living well out there. Uh, if it's your first time, check. Oh, whoa. You were just about to call me? Dude, yo, you guys. What's up? Chris Haas. Chingadiculous, you were just about to call me? Dude, I'll tell you what, I just hung out with my boy EJ up in DC, then on my way home I talked to my friend Kevin, then while I was chilling with Kevin, then, then my boy, then my boy Matt hit me up, and then you're telling me you're about to call me, man, everybody's calling me today. Dude, I want to say something, I want to show you something real quick here. You said, pass the duchy, I don't got any duchies, dog, all I got is this, all I got is this, I got this, which one do you want? Which one do you want? I got two flavors. I got two flavors. I got the I got the uh, cherry and I got the cherry and I got the mango. I don't know which one you want. <sighs> Not sure. Hope you guys can hear me out there. Uh, yeah, you got me. You can hear me. You can hear me out there. Good stuff. I'm glad you can. Let me do something really weird. Weird. Make sure you can hear me. Oh, is my TV even on? Let's get that biatch on. Tempting. Okay, so um, did I hit up Christina Payne? No, I didn't hit up Christina Payne. She does have the uh, she does have the stuff, doesn't she? Uh, you know what? I um, the left hand side on the left hand side. Ah, I um, I was actually hanging out with um, EJ Horstman, comedian. He's got a YouTube channel as well. You might want to check that out. And uh, he and I are doing some comedy stuff together. He he hang, he he lives near the Do Drop Cafe. Do Drop In. Do Drop In. And uh, his roommate's friend rolled through and uh, has a business. And the guy's business is um, Smart Skincare Personal Wellness. Smart Skincare Personal Wellness. And uh, he has a, uh, he's a licensed master esthetician. She's been making she's been making shit ton on of ed, she's been making a shit ton of edibles. I've bought edibles from her before. Yeah, she does that. I, I remember I did a comedy show for her where you would do the show and then it was in a house and everybody was sitting down on the floor. And then you would be performing, you'd be standing up, and people could smoke weed inside, they could buy weed, and it was like catered. And it was really cool. Let's smell this. Let's see what it smells like. Ooh. Uh, no, this wasn't in Anacostia. This the the show that I did with Christina was in Northwest Petworth. It was really close to where Dojo Comedy Theater is, and then where I got these things was technically in Northeast. It was um yeah, it was near the Dewdrop Inn, so that's where that was. And I'll tell you what, I still have not smoked weed. And I've only had CBD. I bought these two. It was um, twelve dollars a piece, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get two. I'm just gonna give one to my mom. Don't worry, guys. This is totally in compliance with District of Columbia Initiative seventy one, and it's not to be consumed by anyone under twenty one years of age, not to be consumed in public on federal property or outside of Washington D.C. 
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. I promise you we will only ingest the marijuana in Washington, D.C. or in places that it's legal. Ooh, I need it. You can take a hit. Marijuana. That pretty green, but all in my blunt. Ooh, I need it. You can take a hit. Yo, um, what's up with my TV, man? It will not come on. My television is not coming on. Sorry, guys. I'm out of the way. If you want to keep looking at me, give me a second, and I'll set it up so you can still see me. I'm got I gotta fiddle. I gotta fiddle with some stuff. I gotta. I gotta fiddle with some stuff here. Oh, I see what happened. I gotta do my own tech, bro. I gotta do my own tech, bro. That's how you know you're successful when you gotta do your own tech. Yeah. Shoot, dude. So, hey, man, tell me what's going on with you guys. How you guys doing? You guys rocking and rolling, ripping and riding it? You're doing it? You're doing it? You guys feeling well? Excited for the next UFC? I think we're looking at May 30th. That's, what is that? Is that next Friday? Is that next Friday? Is that freaking next Friday, bro? Oh, there we go. That's better. That's better. Oh, that's better. Is that good? Oh, man. That looks buster. That looks good. Okay, cool. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. I had to, I had to fix all that, dude. Uh, apologies about that. I had, I had to make sure that my monitor would come on. Ripping and tearing. What is that? I got four more days until I get released from Facebook jail. How long do you think it'll take for me to get banned again? Ripping and tearing. Well, it's always, um, it's always a, it's always a crapshoot when it comes to Facebook and Facebook jail, isn't it? What do you think you're going to be doing? Are you going to be doing... You should just definitely err on the side of caution and remember that you are a... You, you, you need to remember that they need to treat you right and they need to respect your preferred gender pronouns. And if Facebook is not in compliance with your preferred gender pronouns, then it seems like we'll need to put the system on trial. I think that it's going to need a writ of habeas corpus. You know, they, they, can't, they can't just go after everybody for anything, right? That's, that's, not, that's not fair. You can't even say anything anymore. Ripping and tearing. Do you remember the movie Boys in the Hood? In Boys in the Hood... Ice Cube goes like this at the end of the movie. He says, uh, man, the hood's getting so crazy. Yo, man, next thing you know, somebody might want to smoke me. <laughs> it's crazy. That's that's how it is when you're on that's how it is when you're on uh when you're on Facebook, man. You can't say anything. I've never I've never been banned from any of these sites though, but I do think that I've been throttled. Have you do you um see that's the thing about Facebook, man. I wouldn't even worry about it. And I know you're not worried about it either, because you do you can't throttle someone on Facebook, can you? You would just suspend them, ban them, suspend them, that's it. That's it. That's all they can do. But when you have one of those sites like Twitter, Instagram, they'll throttle you. They can do that on YouTube as well, from what I understand. I'm not making the kind of content that's going to get me throttled. Not yet. <laughs> just you wait. Just you wait. But... That's something to be that's something to think about, right? There's a comedian I know out here who works for one of the universities. He has to have a meeting with the school's office of diversity. They're shitting bricks. Oh man. It's a he, you said. He has to have a meeting with the school's Office of Diversity. 
and he's shitting a brick. There, uh, well, is the is the office of diversity shitting a brick, or is your friend who's the comedian that works for the university shitting a brick? And why aren't they eating more fiber? Let me know about that. I want to know, and I want to know the exact dynamics of that. The only thing that you can do, it, it's not even true when I say the only thing that you can do. You have to prepare yourself as well as you possibly can with logical, legitimate arguments when you get into situations like that because that can be super duper messy. And you don't want to get... It's like, do you want to get emotional about that? Because you could... It seems like certain people get really emotional about these things. And sometimes that helps them get their way. I don't recommend that. Shadow ban. <laughs> both, LOL. They're both nervous. Oh, for sure, right? Shadow ban. That would be the greatest name of social... What about... Is there like... So if we got a social justice warrior, is there something that's like the social justice vigilante? Social justice warrior, social justice vigilante, social justice arbiter, the arbiter. Huh. <laughs> both. They're both shitting bricks. Will I be your black friend for the office of diversity? Yes, I will. I can and I will. I can totally do that. I've known him for a long time. He's a good guy. He wouldn't do that. Uh, what did he do? He did that. All right. Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> so, oh, man. I told him he might want to tell them he's an artist and performing is therapeutic and sometimes he covers dark topics to help him cope. I also said if he was abused as a child, he should tell them. These are good pieces of advice. You were very wise to share those pieces of advice with him. Childhood trauma is always, always a great go-to in any of these controversial situations when people say things like, well, well, why would you say that? Why, why would you say that? Those are, those are great. They're just... Just, mwah. Mwah. The, the The media, the media loves it. They go, nom, 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 nom. Abuse, nom, 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 nom. Neglect, nom, 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 nom. Minorities, nom, 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 nom. Privilege, nom, 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 nom. He can also talk about woke shit and say he doesn't feel safe there. Like no one respects his preferred pronouns. Oh. Oh, he gonna do it. He gonna do that and he gonna do a little bit more. He gonna do that and he gonna do a little bit more. Just a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Give me my pronoun, please. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. I want my pronoun, B-C. BC, because you don't give me a pronoun, you're going to have to go downtown. And I'm not going to let you know what the genitals is, because that ain't none of your biz, kid. I could be one or two or zero any day. I come through what? I come through in your face. You don't even know if it's liquid P or it's jizz. It doesn't matter. I said it want your biz. Uh, just a little bit. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Are these really titties? R-E-S-P-E-C-T. I ate bandage on the titties. Sock it to me, 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 sock it to me. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. I got a big old dong, can't you see? R-E-S-P-E-C-T. How do I tuck this thing? Dude, please. Please. What is happening? What's a happening out there? We don't really know.
You gotta be strategic with dealing with human resources and diversity shit. Yep, I agree. A group of Karens is called a privilege. What? I never heard that before. Is that real? Or did you make that up? Like, I mean, I know it's real because somebody made it up. Did you make that up, Chris? Because that's, that's good. That's really good. Main thing that he makes sure his Confederate flag isn't visible on his Zoom meeting. Do you think he should pretend that he's got COVID? Or do you think he should let them know he has COVID? I think that would also bolster his argument. There's a really good part of one of Dave Chappelle's recent specials where he said that he had to go in and he had to talk about some of the sketches on the Chappelle show and they were saying that he was saying some things that were transphobic on it. I think it would be wise for your friend to see that bit that Chappelle did because the way that Chappelle looks at these arguments is it's like a uh, international grand master in chess. It really is. It's like watching a, I mean, it's like watching a world-class black belt roll with an awesome purple belt. And you can see that the purple belt's really excellent, so you can see all these awesome things happening. But then at the same time, so the purple belt is like the media, the woman in the meeting, right? They got a lot of good solid salient points. But then you have Gary Kasparov. Then you have Marcelo Garcia. You have, uh, what is it, Hegan Machado. Somebody like that. You have Hicks and Gracie. Hoist Gracie. You've got these great jujitsu guys. You got Jacare. You got, uh, I don't know. And, and then you can just see like, oh, there, there are levels to this. This dude is so quick. He's so smart and he's so socially rounded that it's, um, it's going to get you in trouble. And you better hope he doesn't have an outlet to air this towards because it can really, really hurt when you don't know what you're doing. If you ever get accused of being transphobic, I'll just ask them to tell me how many trans women they performed oral sex on. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think that's such a good idea that it, it definitely deserves a shake or shake. If you ever get accused of being transphobic, you'll just ask them to tell... You, so you're going to go, how many trans women have you performed oral, oral sex on? You think I'm transphobic. That's, tr I mean, yo. <laughs> That's great. It's, it's unbeatable. That's unbeatable. Is that, is that not unbeatable? Right? Like, is that's the thing. Like, listen, uh, Michael, Ra like, like, that's, you can't beat that. See, when you do that, you are not transphobic. Can you be... Can you be transphobic if you have had... Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think you can. I think that's, I think that that's, I think that's unbeatable. I think that's unbeatable, dude. I think it's hilarious and unbeatable. Like Michael Rappaport... Well, they could say they have bottomed. They could say, but that doesn't mean, that doesn't take anything away from you. That doesn't take anything away from you and your experience. So they, they cannot, they cannot diminish your experience. They could just, so they, they, then, then they would be like, what, they suffered more than you? Does that mean they suffered more? You can? You can be transphobic if you hook up with trans women. Hmm. But if you didn't hook up with a trans woman, if you if you were the same guy but you hadn't, I would say that you would be more. And because you had actually had that experience, it would lessen the level of phobia that you'd have towards that thing. Because... Isn't like a phobia, like an intense fear of something? You wouldn't be phobic. You would have some level of courage and bravery. Let's look up phobia. 
we got to learn some stuff. I haven't, I, I literally jumped right into this live stream and just wanted to be silly. Okay. So, yeah, uh, we're just going to go straight to the Oxford language right here. Bottoming for a trans woman is probably higher on the ally pecking order than performing oral sex. Bottoming for a trans woman. A little bit. A little bit. It, you, dude, there's a tons of phob, 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 homophobes that gag on dick. Yo, is that right? There's tons of homophobes that gag on dick. Hmm. I wonder. I don't know. Are they really, are they really, oh God, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know if they really are truly homophobic. If that's what they're doing. Yeah. I, I, I question that a little bit. Um, we're going to pull up the other screen. So while you're uh, while we're going over that, Mike Pence, ha <laughs> ha, Mike Pence, no, not Mikey, not Mikey. I had to take the hat off of that. It's getting hot in here. Um, I'm gonna pull pull up the other the other monitor really quick. So this might take it just a little jiffy. Please bear with me while I do that, Mike Pence. Oh, Mikey, Mikey, meh. Oh right, we gotta just do. So uh, I've been getting a lot better with this, and I'm. I'm proud of it. I'm a proud man. What is this one? Does that work? Is that it? Is that it? Can I see it? Nope. Nope. Click my overlay. Display one. Boom. Got it. Sorry, I'm just, uh, well, you know what? I'm doing what I gotta do. I'm doing what you got to do, son. I got to do what I got to do. Is that what it is? Oh, sorry. I'm doing a display capture, just so you know. That's what I'm doing right here. Boom. Ha, 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 ha. I don't want to do that display. I'm doing display number one. There we go. Sexy. Sexy, sexy. All right, here we go. So uh, hopefully you can see this. Phobia. Phobia is an extreme or irrational fear of or aversion to something. Phobia. He had a phobia about being underwater. He had a phobia about being underwater. He had a phobia about, about gagging on penis. But he did it anyway because he's brave. Self-loathing phobias. Hom Self-loathing homophobes. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. Oh, I'm black and I'm proud. I'm black and I'm proud. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. <laughs> Oof. I, 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 don't got, I don't think I got the rhythm. I don't think I got the rhythm in the transaction. Uh, apparently, I, um, I did not get the, uh, the rhythm, Jane. They uh, they just they denied me of it, and um, I'm sad. You you can certainly hear me, but you you certainly cannot see me um, because I'm uh, <laughs> just kidding. Let me get that display back, dog. Oh, there we go. There we go. Is that good? Give it to me, bitch. Give it to me, Mirch. There you go. There you go, baby. Oh, I'm back. There we go. Okay, extreme irrational fear. Phobia isn't just fear. Aversion is strong dislike or disinclination. Strong dislike or disinclination. Are you also checking your dictionary over there? That's so funny. Let's see. Uh, what's the difference between a fear and a phobia? Awesome. I don't, I'm not trying to play. This is just fun. Uh, a fear is an emotional response to a real or perceived threat. So we know... The Professor Frank, <laughs> phobia just doesn't fear. Okay, a f well, let, let, so now we're looking at a fear. A fear is an emotional response to a real or perceived threat. See, this is the thing. The th these Most of the things that people are afraid of aren't even real threats. They're perceived threats. Now, Bruce Lee taught that you should recognize a true threat. You should recognize a true threat. And 
a lot of these things that people are afraid of are irrational fears. A phobia is similar to a fear with one key difference. The anxiety they experience is so strong that it interferes with their quality of life and or their ability to function. Psychologists often make a distinction between fears and phobias. This is eye-opening. The anxiety they experience is so strong that it interferes with their quality of life and or their ability to function. We're learning here, you guys. We're learning. False evidence appearing real. Huh. Okay, so, um, oh God, there's a Huff Post one. We should definitely not look at that. Um, you know what this makes me feel like? It makes me feel like it's time. Okay, by the way, you guys, Gab is shut down. Gab is not in the house anymore right now. They, something died uh, up with Gab. I don't know what's going on with it. But uh, yeah, they, uh, they had some trouble. So let's go ahead and let's go and learn about our Urban Dictionary Word of the Day. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. This one's going to be a bum. These are the Urban Dictionary. Do you guys like these Urban Dictionary Word of the Day segments? Because they're always, they're always really gross and stupid, um, I think. But uh, there's also a place for that, I assume, out there. Out there in the field, I fight for my right. Teenage wasteland, teenage wasteland. Out here in the field. Okay, let's see it. All right, doomer. A lack of faith in humanity or people in general. Giving up on all humans. Groups of people for perceived slights or injustices committed by a few. Lacking confidence in the future of humans because of an event directly affecting their life or not, despite any positive response that happened. Note, this is not limited to any particular political group, affiliation, or generation. Doomer. I just lost faith in humanity because someone hit a child walking down the street and just drove off. Never mind the dozen people that stepped stopped to check on them and that called the police while doing everything they could to help the person in need. That one human who hit them makes everyone bad in my eyes. Normal people. Okay, Doomer. Ah. Uh, all right. That okay, Doomer is obviously a playoff of the okay, Boomer that got really, you know, that's also a thing on, on uh, you know, in our, in our lexicon now. Okay, Boomer. Okay, Doomer. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, I don't like doomers. Doomers are doomers are not fun, man. Doomers suck. Uh, uh, you know what? A black pill incel is a lot close to it. Is is pretty close to a doomer, for sure. They're pretty close to a doomer. All right. That was one. We're gonna have to get another one because I, I can't just live off of just that. H N G H. The number one. The number one one was H N G H. We're gonna find out, y'all. Let's find out what H N G H is. All right. The noise, it says, noise, noise, the noise you make when you have poop stuck in your behind and you're trying to push it out. H-N-G-H, <laughs> look above, <laughs> okay, that one's fun. I feel like we need to do one more. Okay, uh, we did that one yesterday, uh, floor bow, floor bow, okay, floor bow. What is, what's Florbo mean, everybody? Can we learn Florbo? Florbo, proper name to be used in place of a pronoun. Sam identifies as non-binary with the pronouns they, them. Sam, I am offended by the use of gendered language. John, oh great, Florbo is offended again. I wish that Florbo would just shut up already. <laughs> Look at the hashtag, snowflake, S snowflake, SJW, and then uh, pussy. I don't mean to say pussy. I hope that does not offend any of the ladies out there. They don't mean that in a, uh, in a sexual way. They mean that in a, in a, uh, a level of strength. This means lame. When somebody's called a pussy, they're also kind of like lame and weak. A proper, proper name to be used in place of a pronoun, Florbo. Florbo. That's funny. I never knew that one. I never knew that one. God damn. God damn. If they don't have a million things out there on these 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 things. 
Okay, stove piping. False evidence appearing real. Fear. Whoa, that's good, dude. You guys, those are good. Phobia isn't just fear. You guys are smart. Damn, you smart guys out there, you guys make me, uh, you guys keep me on my toes, which is good. I need to stay on my toes because I'm flat footed. Uh, stove piping? What, should I look up stove piping? We got to look it up. I mean, if the guys in the chat said that they wanted to see it, and you got to look it up. I mean, that would be, it would be wrong not to, right? For sure. Um, can I, can I get stove piping, um, Urban Dictionary? Oh no, oh no, please no. Jacob, did you know what this meant before you, before you told me to look it up? Because if you did, I don't, I don't appreciate that, man. I don't, I don't appreciate you, you trying to make light of my live streams, dude. I'm trying to educate you guys. All right, we're going to read it. I hope it's not bad. Stove piping. The act of an uncircumcised man stretching his foreskin over the tip of a circumcised man's penis, resembling how stovepipe is put together. I caught them stovepiping and damn near puked, but at the same time, I kind of felt left out. <laughs> ah, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! Snoodling. Dude, these are so bad. <laughs> stovepiping. Oh God! Let's. I just want to um, pull up an image of a stovepipe. Stovepipe. Pipe. Oh my God! Oh my God! Why is it like that? Why is it like that? These images are terrible. Uh, <laughs> what kind of? What is this? What does this mean? Okay, so what about that, bro? What does that mean? What is what does this mean, dude? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> is this is this what we're talking about here? Is that what we're talking about here? Um uh um uh oh, I'm just kidding. All right, that's 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 a weird looking stovepipe there. Okay, we've learned enough from Urban Dictionary today. I think we need to move on from that. Because there's a lot of other fun stuff to talk about out there in um, the weird world of Earth. Gosh, man. So here's our Thursday. It's Thursday. Are you guys doing okay? You guys got some stand-up comedy to do tonight? You got some um, some other stuff to do? Uh, I just want you guys to know that I did research for this. I researched for 17 hours. I created a man made out of gimp, not the material. I mean, no, the material, not the, uh, not the act. I, uh, I, I manscaped from the waist up. I also took a nootropic supplement. It's, uh, on it. It's, it's on it. It's, um, alpha brain. And then I'm ready to rock this live stream for you guys. It doesn't, doesn't matter. This is the best job I ever had. Just want you to know that. Uh, so without further ado, oh God, we're going to have to, uh, check this one out. I did, I, I've been pulling up all these information and I, and I'm constantly looking for info. So if you have anything that really crazy you want me to ever bring up, just let me know, and I will get it up there for you. This is funny. I thought this was really funny, actually. If I could get it set up on my screen, if I could set it up, if I could set it up, set it up, set it up, set it up. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're going to like this one. Here's something you're going to really like. Ah. Okay, here we go. You guys... This is the um, enlightened map of the United States of America. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think of the enlightened map of the United States? Let me get out of there so you can really see it. Let, let me get out of there so you can really blow this motherfucker up. Oh, yeah, that's the U.S. right there. You see how, you see how Washington is like smaller, Montana smaller, North. Look at North Dakota way over here. Why is it so far west? That's North Dakota. Look at that. That's kind of odd. You've got Minnesota. you got Minnesota. It's really small, eh? Hey, Minnesota is really small, eh? And then it's in Wisconsin. Are these backwards? Uh, maybe they're, they're not backwards, I guess. Michigan. Look at Michigan all the way over here. Look at Delaware up here, dude. What the heck is going on with Delaware? And then look at New Jersey. New Jersey's got a big... New Jersey's got the dong in it. It's got the dong in it, brah. Uh, look at Rhode Island. Look at Rhode Island. Rhode Island looks like an inverted Maryland. Oh, my God. Vermont is huge. Why is Vermont all of New York? Look at New York. They kept, they kept, they got Staten Island. New York's still doing all right. 
New York is still doing all right. They got New Hampshire. You got Maine. Maine's doing okay. Maine hasn't lost much. New York, they, they see they couldn't hate on New York that much. Look at Kakalaki. Look at North Kakalaki taking over they taking over Virginia. Straight up taking over Virginia, man. I don't even like that, dog. I don't like that shit, man. Why is Massachusetts way over here? Stupid square. Look at Virginia. Virginia they moved my great state of Virginia over here. I gotta check on the live stream. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. I call that funky good time. <laughs> you got a six. You got a six p.m. Zoom, so you can kick it for, with me for an hour. Oh, dude, you're good to go, man. I'm not even gonna be here that long. Um, you got a six p.m. Zoom. That's nine p.m. your time, so you can kick it for an hour. Oh, you're good. What is the name of the dong next to Jersey? What's the name of the dong next to Jersey? Um, is this that? Is that not? Is that Lake Lake Michigan or is it Lake Superior? I don't know what it's called. Virginia is snoodling with the tip of the dong. Oh, no. It's just going, oh, no, Virginia, what are you doing? Oh, Virginia. Virginia is just like, <laughs> Virginia is like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just let me get let me get right under there. It's playing with it like there's those Chinese, Chinese Benoit balls or Bedoying balls. This is, this is Virginia. And I don't like that about my state. Oh, God, you guys. Let's get back to it. All right. We got South Carolina. South Carolina's kind of doing all right. Georgia. Look at Georgia taking over, man. Isn't Atlanta more over here? I think Alabama stole Atlanta. Florida can do fine with this. Like, if this is Orlando, this is Tampa Bay. How big can I get this, man? I'm, I'm really enjoying this. this. This is fun. Miami's down here. Florida would be okay with this, and then Georgia gets Jacksonville. That's good for Georgia, goddammit. And then Alabama gets Tallahassee and Pensacola. They're doing fine. Mississippi stole New Orleans, though. I don't know if Mississippi needs that. Alabama doesn't need... Alabama's doing okay. That's not bad. Connecticut's over here. Maryland? Shit, man. This is where all your athletes come from. A lot of your best athletes are coming from Maryland. Ohio? These are stupid right in here. Look at that. Indiana, West Virginia. <laughs> God damn it. Why is it so stupid in here? This is, this is the stupidest part of it. <laughs> Colorado, look at this, Arizona is small, New Mexico, Arkansas is getting a lot of love, Texas, Louisiana, Louisiana got Austin, Oklahoma sucks, Kentucky, these, all this shit sucks, all this shit in here kind of sucks, where's the, we don't know where the mountains are, I guess the mountains are somewhere like right in here, Kansas is going to be very mountainous, Wyoming, Nevada, Nevada's got the Bay Area, Wyoming has got Vegas. California's got... What does California really have now? Because where's, where's my... Where's, where's, uh, is this where LA is? Right around here? Is that LA and then down here it's like San Diego? Shit, man. You're getting fucked. Washington State's still doing okay. Yeah. That's your enlightened view of the United States of America. I thought you guys would be interested in seeing that, that piece. That piece. Not really sure. What do you guys think about that? Lake Michigan, you are correct. Oh, man. Virginia is sounding it. <laughs> Dude, little strip show for you, boys. Little strippity strip. Let me get that strip. Oh, man. I don't know what makes it enlightened. I have no idea what makes it enlightened. We should, we should find out. Let's let's freaking find out, god damn it. Oh, can't do that. Alright, here we go. Uh <laughs> I don't know, dude. I can't tell you. I cannot tell you. Let's see this pick though. This one's funny. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> Look at this. Space God. Top 0.1% of all shufflers. Look, look at that. Isn't that crazy? Can you see it? It says, it says, wait, it's all Texas? And then the other astronaut's got a Texas thing on his fucking astronaut seat. It says, always has been. And he's got a gun. He's got a gun pointed at the dude. This is, it's all Texas? What the fuck, man? What the fuck is wrong with people on Twitter? 
Pro oh God, guess which calendar they would use. Proposed standard new year. 13 equal sized months. 28 days times 13 months equals 364 plus 1 equals 365. First day of the month is always a Sunday. Last day of the month is always a Saturday. I do my I do my training exercise. I, that's how I do my weeks, by the way. I do Sunday is the first day of the week, and then Saturday is the last day of the week. For that's what I do personally. And then what I do is I take Monday off. Monday is Sunday, but Sunday is Monday. Does that make sense? So like I start the week, and then I take the first <laughs> the next day I take off. That's so shitty. That's such a shitty thing for a dude. That's how I do it. I've been doing it that way for years. Oh, I don't recommend it, but that's what I do. Um, I hope that makes sense. I hope that uh, it does not make sense to you. Um, what is this? The one day left over is New Year's Day. It isn't a jump. Okay, let's. Can I blow this? I want to blow this bitch up for you all to see, man. They never want me to let you see and, and enlighten you. Okay. It isn't a weekday or a weekend. It's magic. And on leap years, it's a double vacation day. The rest is easy. If someone says, I'll see you on the 19th. If somebody says, I'll see you on the 19th, you know it's on a Thursday. It doesn't matter what month. It doesn't even matter what year. It's always it's going to be on a Thursday. And you put it over in your freaking edits down here, true heart. Because this is the type of shit that people want you to talk about. Fucking crazy assholes out there. What is this? What is this next thing we got to get into? What the hell's going on out there? I don't know what makes it enlightened. I really don't know what makes it enlightened. That's the one thing I don't understand. Did you guys... You guys weren't here yesterday. Yesterday, there was somebody in the, um, the, the chat... And they were calling me names. They called me a bitch nigga. You guys know that? They called me a bitch nigga. And then they said that YouTube wasn't for me. And they said that I needed to quit. And then they left the live stream. And then you know what happened? A few minutes later, they rejoined the live stream. They may not have even left the live stream. They may have stayed in there and actually listened to me, which would have been even weirder, but not even that weird, honestly. They left the live stream, then they came back a few minutes later and they said, nigga, you still live streaming? You know what? It, it was, um, it hurt my feelings. It hurt my, it hurt my feelings a lot and I'm, and I'm very sad. And I wanted to share that with you because I want you to know that I, um, I have a heart. I have a true heart. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I feel, uh, I feel better now. I feel better. I got that off my chest. Uh, a God can bleed. Oh God! I got a I got a good picture of you guys out here. I got a good picture for you, right here. You're gonna really like this. Oh yeah, this is a fun one. Fun, fun, fun on a Santa Monica Boulevard. <laughs> Um, are you seeing this, dude? There is a giant sea lion. It's a seal, right? It's a seal. It's just laying there, chilling on the lawn. It's chilling on the on the chair, man. That 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 guy's laying out. That's better than laying on them rocks, and you know it. The lockdown changed the world. The lockdown done changed the world. <laughs> He's probably in search of some stove piping. <laughs> I think he is. I sure think he is, boys. I think he need a little stove piping. Ew. Ew. Okay, what's next? What do we have here? Um, we did those two. Oh, dude. I'm still looking for shit. Oh, God. I don't know if you like this guy. A lot of people don't like this dude. You might be one of them. 
So we'll check this guy out. All right, so some people on Twitter are mad. They're mad because fans of Cole Sprouse think that this makes him look like Terrence Howard. Does he look like Terrence Howard to you? Do you know who Terrence Howard is? Are you not are you not black enough to know who Terrence Howard is? I'll help you. So this is what Cole Spruce looks like. I Sprouse. Sprouse. I've never heard of him by by uh, to be honest with you. So I'm going to I'm going to bring up a picture of Terrence Howard. And um I'm just going to try to find one quickly. Oh shit. These motherfuckers might be right. <laughs> These motherfuckers might be right. These motherfuckers, man. I don't even know. Hold up a good goddamn. Hold up a goddamn second, son, while I pull this bitch up. Cause I'm finding I'm finding the picture for your ass. Believe that, nigga. You believe that. You believe that shit. It's one of my favorite things about being black. Have you ever noticed that black people are super into like using Bluetooth? Like a black a black person will like they'll use like the hands free Bluetooth. Like black people love that more than anybody. You'll be walking around and you'll think that there's like a black person that's actually like mentally ill, but in actuality they are just like on Bluetooth, and it happens. It's very very common. Okay, can I blow this up a little bit? Oh, let me get that bigger for you, man. All right, oh, dude, my face is in the way. Let me get my bitch ass face out of there. Great. Okay, cool. All right. So now, do you guys see it? Oh shit! I lost him. I lost the. I lost my boy. You're my boy, Blue. You're my boy, T. Oh shit! So I lost. There he goes. There he is. <laughs> All right. You guys see it? Do you see? Like, you think that he looks like him? You think he looks like him? That's what they said. People are mad. Because they think that Terrence, they think that they made this guy look like this guy. And because of that, they're mad at him. Because, I don't know if you know about Terrence Howard, but Terrence Howard has been in trouble multiple times for domestic violence. Yeah, I said it. So, so it's, a big, it's a big problem. And I don't, I don't support domestic violence, not at all. I do not, do not, do not. Let's look up Terrence Howard a little bit so I can corroborate my story, because, um, you know, I, I think I hope that all the all this shit that I talk about, all these celebrities, is um, not gonna like somehow hurt me in the future, because I want, I'd love to have a career in the uh, entertainment industry at some point. Okay, so here's Terrence Howard now. We blew his ass up. Okay, domestic violence incidents. Look, we're looking at his Wikipedia right here. Domestic violence incidents. Okay. Let me just read to you. I know you like to hear my voice. In February 2009, Howard was arrested. Whoa. In 2009, it was, it was reported that in 2001, he was arrested for a variety of get charges related to a violent attack on his estranged first wife, including simple assault, terrorist threats, harassment and stalking he was stalking a bitch he was stalking her like a freaking uh celery um according to police reports he arrived at her house after an argument on the phone that means he was getting they were having an argument on the phone and the motherfucker was like oh shit i'm coming over i won't be here in a minute <laughs> so then i was that's loud okay so then um whoa according to police reports he arrived at her house after an argument on the phone forced entry into her home by breaking in doors and chased her into the backyard where he punched her twice in the face with a closed fist. Twice. First one to let you know I'm here. Second one to see you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the violent attack ended when Howard's brother stepped in. His brother stepped in. In 2002, he pleaded guilty to disturbing the peace. DTP. DTP. Disturbing the peace. According to the smoking gun, the smoking gun don't like Terrence Howard, apparently. Smoking gun, Howard was also arrested for assaulting a Continental Airlines flight attendant after refusing her request to return to his seat because the seatbelt sign was on. He assaulted an airline flight attendant after refusing her request to return to his seat because the... Okay. Boom! The seatbelt sign is on. Please 
sit in your seat with your seatbelt on. So he's, he's milling around an airplane in the air. And the flight attendant says, um, sir, could you please have a seat in your, your, your chair? I'm sure he was sitting in, he was no less than business class, and you know it. And then she says that to him, and then he goes, no, nah, bitch. That's two. No, I gotta give you three, because I like you more than my wife. You get more if I love you. That means I love you so much that I punched you four times. We're soulmates. Jesus. In, uh, let's, 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 let's do a couple more of these. On December 5th, 2011, a judge granted Howard's then-wife, Michelle Gent, a restraining order based on her claims that Howard had caused her physical injuries that required medical attention, once broke her computer in half, repeatedly threatened her, and stalked her by phone and on the internet. I wonder how he stalked her on the internet when he snapped her computer in half. Tim, come on, man. Come on, Tim. Well, you got to be that way, dude. Well, you got to be that way, too. In August 2013, Gent obtained a second restraining order because one is never enough. She's, she's like, I don't want one restraining order. I want two restraining orders. Two restraining orders are always better than one. That's terrible. <laughs> in August 2013, Gent obtained a second restraining order against him after showing up in a court with a black eye. She says he gave her. And you know what he was like? He was like, yeah, I gave her a black eye. It was a gift. I can hear you laughing. In September 2015, interview rolling with Rolling Stone. Thank God it's not with the smoking gun and it's with Rolling Stone, right? Howard admitted to hitting his first wife in 20, 2001 saying, she was talking to me real strong. And I lost my mind and slapped her in front of the kids. Oh, God, no, you've never slapped your wife in front of the children you have with her. No, 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 no. No, that's bad. So I just wanted to uh, defame him for you. <laughs> what the heck is... Yeah, so um, the point, the point of all that, Tim, why did you tell me all that shit about Terrence Howard, right? Why did you do it? Because I wanted you to see that he is not. He is not. He is not Sprouse. He is not Cole Sprouse. Terrence Howard is not Cole Sprouse. No matter how bad you want him to be, Jacob Rosales. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Let's see what's going on in the live chat. I went off on a tangent there. I went off on quite a tangent. Last week I had someone yell at me on an Instagram live video and tell me that I was banned from their open mic room that I never stepped foot in. Why? Looks more like DiCaprio. He does look a little bit like DiCaprio, doesn't he? The only way to make certain if he looks like Terrence is to see him in blackface. Oh. Dude, can I use that? God, when you guys write stuff in the live stream, you gotta know when you write something in the live chat, it belongs to me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But can I use that one? Because I don't know if you want to pull off those blackface jokes. That's that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Have you already done that one? That's funny as shit, bro. God damn it. You guys are so funny. You guys are both funny, man. Uh, obviously, you're both funny. Fuck. Get the... I'm just adding that. I'm adding the fucking live chat conversation to that. Back in the live stream. All right, let me see if I have anything else to cover here. Oh, dude. This is kind of fun, just for you to know about. By the way, I checked out a new show. You guys really might want to check this thing out. It's on the. Um, it's on Netflix. It's called The Last Kingdom. Have you guys heard about The Last Kingdom? That show is sick as shit. The Last Kingdom is so fucking good. It's like um, all about Vikings and stuff. <laughs> And um, I don't know if it's – it's about a guy who's from England, but the Vikings come, and then they like, basically take over, and then he gets, like, um, raised by wolves, a.k.a. Vikings. And then the Vikings, like – so Vikings that he's with get killed by some other Vikings that double-cross them. And then he's no longer accepted by the Vikings, nor is he accepted by the English because he's no longer English, but he's no longer a Viking, right? So that's, like, the first three episodes, and the shit's four seasons deep, and it's fucking awesome. So that's The Kingdom. 
The Last Kingdom. And another show that I'm super high on on Netflix is called Money Heist. Money Heist, I mentioned it yesterday. Dude, these are so freaking dope, these shows, man. So um, I have been getting super into that stuff. Oh, my win for today. My win for today. I did my taxes, yo. I did my tickety, tickety, tickety taxes. And I'm going to get a little bit of money back. And I'm going to pay uh, back taxes with some of that money. And I'm going to break it off for my baby mama. I'm going to break off some money for my baby mama and my baby. And uh, that's going to be cool. And uh, that's fun. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's see. So this is the, there used to be, I don't know if you know this or not, there used to be 27 letters in the alphabet. I didn't know this stuff until last night when I started learning about the um, old English because I'm into this new show. So the old 27th letter of the English alphabet. I speak English. I don't know if you speak English. Okay. It's true. Our modern English alphabet used to have 27 letters. Yo, this shit is mind-blowing. You know what the 27th letter was? Et. This was the 27th letter, yo. Right there. That was the 27th letter. Oh, yeah. That right there. That was your 27th letter, kid. Oh, I can't even point at it. There it is. That was your 27th letter right there. And, um... What the hell? Close that out. Boom. Okay, so that was the 27th letter. Et was the 27th letter of the alphabet. And actually, you can still find it on your keyboard. Look, this is what it evolved into. It's an ampersand. Most people call this character an ampersand. Yeah, that's what I just did, bitch. Or simply, and. But this, oh, god damn you. God damn you, fart face. Okay, good. Oh, okay, cool. I was trying to read it to you so it's cool looking. Okay, so, uh. How about if I just get out of there? All right, there you go. Boom. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, ampersand. This character is actually considered a letter. But this character was actually considered a letter. History of et. It's a Latin word for and. Its usage can be traced back to this first century. It was when the ampersand was born. Look at it in the old school, y'all. Look how it changed. It morphed. It Darwined itself. Look at that weird stuff. See how it looks all weird back in the day? And then see what it started turning into? It was like that before. And then it turned into that, to that, to that, to that. Wow. That's the, these are the, okay, so this is like one depiction of the uh, revolu evolution. I said revolution. And this is the other picture. Wow. Yeah. It was added after the letter Z. Uh, what is it? It even had its own place at the end of the alphabet. The phrase and per se and was added after the Z. This partially English, partially Latin phrase means and by itself and. However, this poor phrase soon became subject to rebracketing. Oh, dude. We'll learn about rebracketing later. That was cool, man. I just really thought that that was interesting. And, um, yeah, that stuff's kind of interesting. Why not, right? <laughs> Oh, dude, when you say sure, take the joke, I always feel like I'm, I always feel like such a guy. It's like, are you, are you going to eat that? Are you, are you going to eat that last wing? Are, are you going to eat that wing? And you're like, sure, go for it. Go for it. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, man. Because of the rocket and room. Oh, dude. There's this, um, do you guys know what DJs eat when they want a snack while hiking? Trail mix. <laughs> I'm writing popsicle stick jokes now, dude. That's one of the things I'm, gonna try I'm trying to do. I'm trying to write popsicle stick jokes. I'm going to tell you a couple of these, then we're going to get the hell out of here. We're going to get the freak out of this mother effer. Where does a catcher sit down for dinner? Behind the plate. I hate these. When is a door not a door? When it's a jar. Come on, you gotta, you gotta, man. This is the thing about, like, when you talk to a little kid, they'll read you. The, when you t when a little kid comes up to you and you go, hey, do you want to hear a joke? You always go, oh, hell yeah, yo, I love jokes. Shit, I'm a comedian. I'm a, I'm a comedy aficionado. Tell me, to, tell me a joke, tell me a joke. Come on, I, I can't wait. I want to be entertained. And then they tell you, this is, not a, this is not a joke. It's a riddle. It's like a riddle, right? Because it's a question, and then, then there's an answer to it. The, qu the answer is the punchline, but like the setup is like a question. It's not like, 
You can just like I don't know, man. It's like it's like it's a lot more like a riddle. These are good jokes. Here's some more. <laughs> what do you call a girl in the middle of a tennis court? A net. That's not bad. I'm not mad at that. A net. You should write like one of these every day and put it on your Twitter. What's the hardest thing about learning to ride a bike? The pavement. See, that's better. That's a better one. I get these from the popsicles that I eat, by the way. Let's do a couple more of these. Get the hell out of here. What did one hat say to the other hat? Stay here. I'll go ahead. I don't like that one. That one didn't make me that, that one didn't light me up. Why does the ghosts why do the ghosts never win any races? They're always dead tired. Okay, that one's not that bad. Hey, um, Chingadiculous, do you know a comedian that has puns that aren't this good? Is there is there a comedian out there that has puns that aren't even this good? I don't know. I don't know if you can name any. What do you call a frog that's illegally parked? Toad! <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. That's not bad. I'm not hating on that one. How do you make a handkerchief dance? You put a little boogie in it. See, if a girl told you this one, like a really hot chick that you want to date with, if, if you if she told you that, you'd be like, ah, it's kind of cool. Yeah, she's a good she's a good gal. You ever notice there's there's um you ever know you know a guy and he's like your age, but he talks like he's an old man who's like had a good life and he's like really successful, like somebody from Mad Men. So there'll be a guy and he's like, ah, she's a good kid. She's a, she's a good kid. Yeah. Or they'll be like, oh, he's a good guy. He's a good, he's a good kid. I'm like, who the hell are you? You're my age, you shit face. What are you doing? You're smoking pipes? You're not smoking, you're not smoking a cigar? I got a buddy who will do a complete set dressed as a chicken and only tell chicken related puns. No. No. You put a little boogie in it. That's, I don't know if, is that, that's kind of cool. I guess it's kind of cool. I saw somebody that made a robot outfit out of cardboard, and it was a pretty well-made outfit, and then they told jokes, and it was like, hey, do you remember the guy that had the bananas, and he had them in a giant duffel bag, and he kept pulling out a banana, and he pulled out, like, over 100 bananas, and then at the end, he pulled out an orange, and he goes, orange, you glad I didn't say banana? Do you remember that dude in Richmond? Oh, God. Oh, God, that was ridiculous. It was like a 10-minute set. Why did the book join the police? He wanted to work undercover. Ah. Most of these are actually good. These are the ones that I hated. These are the three that I hated. So out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven out of ten were good. Here's the last one, and then we're going to call it quits. When is the best time to go to the dentist? Tooth hurdy. Tooth hurdy. I don't hate that one either. All right, those were the popsicle sticks jokes. I did not write those. That was interesting. I never, I, I had them and I've been saving them. I didn't throw them away because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bit of a ho, 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 hoarder. <laughs> I'm a hoarder. So I, I say popsicle sticks. I'm going to write a bunch of these shit style jokes, these, these, these jokes. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can have a, a bunch of puns ready for the live stream. And I'll try to do those. And then uh, that'll be fun. Okay, so that was an hour and three minutes. I know I started a little bit late today. I was actually on my way back from D.C. I hadn't been to D.C. in a while. And I was hanging out and chilling and all that good stuff. Um, thank you guys so much for checking out the live stream. I so, 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 so appreciate it. It makes it, it, makes it really awesome for you to just uh, be there and interacting. And it makes it so much fun for me. It, it's, it's, really, uh, it's, really, it's really a big help. And uh, you guys are my friends. Thank you so much. I'll be back again tomorrow night at 7 p.m. I don't know if I'm gonna do um, I don't know if I'm gonna do a live stream tomorrow night at 10. I might just do a longer one and try to just get really prepared for it, and that'll be that. We'll have to see. All right, dude. You guys, love you so much. Uh, have a good have a good set. Have a good set, Jacob. Chris, I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you guys both on Twitter. And uh, Chris, check out Jacob's stuff. Check out Ching Ridiculous's stuff on Instagram. He's doing a lot of great stuff on Instagram. And uh, yep, yeah, and I'll see you guys again soon. I love you so much. Thank you again and. Peace.